Okay, we've got this thing finally buttoned up, and uh, I, I put my new power cord in, and uh, we run the neutral to the top line, and the hot line to the bottom line. Now these were just copper conductors, so I uh, soldered the ends of them and tinned them very good, uh, clipped them off square and put them in the lugs and tightened them securely. Uh, those will probably have to be checked in about a month or so to make sure that they... They uh, stay tight. <clears throat> um, we ran our special wire. This is the uh, line. Oh, this was the line side here. This is the load side. This orange wire is a Type X, uh, 200 degree centigrade uh, wire, going to the element. Uh, the black wire that you see tapping off of it goes to a little indicator light. Um, there's this is the, the neutral side, and here's the line side over here. And there's a little indicator light underneath the uh, switch that'll light up red when the uh, when the element is up and running. So you have a visual of uh, when the unit is actually actually firing. Um, I used a high quality solderless connector, uh, fully insulated, and then they have a dual sleeve here. And when you crimp them down, make sure you crimp them down tight with the proper type of uh, crimp. Um, you got your ground. Uh, the ground goes directly to the uh, um, the element housing. Uh, that's very important. Make sure that that ground gets on there. And I was going to show you this wire that I used. This is a uh, there. You can see the 200 centigrade rating on it. I hope it's focusing in on that. And uh, it's a it's a nickel wire. It's not a copper conductor. And that is only a number 16, but uh, in the book, that thing's good for 35 amp. And uh, here's a little bit larger one. I use this for uh, uh, heating elements in industrial buildings. And same temperature rating. It's a 200 degree centigrade uh, pure nickel wire. This That is not uh, copper clad with nickel. That is pure nickel. And it's got the 200 degree jacket there, and then it's got a Looks like a fiberglass braid over it. Um, but, but this one, I've run this one all the way up to 50 amps on a number 12 wire with that nickel, and it doesn't overheat. It runs just fine, and it's it's uh, legal to do that. It's, it's what it books out at. So that's the end of this little part of the project. We're going to go ahead and get this thing installed, and uh, and then I'll, sh I'll do one last shot and show you how I'm going to ground the... Uh, the uh, boiler to hopefully keep this corrosion from ever coming back again. But electrically, we're finished.